welcome you see in selenium it is quite common to encounter captchas in this video you will learn how you can solve captcha using to captcha so what exactly is to captcha you see to captcha is a service that is used to solve captcha the usual flow is very simple okay we have the captcha like this we send this captcha details to to captcha and the workers at to captcha solve that captcha and the solved captcha code is sent back to us which we can use to submit the captcha forms to captcha is a quite popular service in the market with to captcha we can solve a wide variety of captchas such as google recaptcha h captcha fun captcha and the pricing of to captcha is also very reasonable for example if you want to solve the google recaptcha which is the most popular form of captcha the price ranges from dollar 1 to dollar 3 per 1000 captcha solved which is very reasonable Next, what we will do is we'll get the two capture API key and then we'll solve this two capture in Selenium. So, first to get a two capture API key, what we really need to do is, is to go to two capture website and sign up for an account on two capture. Once you've created your account, you will be redirected to this page and you will see that your balance is zero. You will need to add funds to two capture before you can use two capture in your application. So, go ahead and click the add funds button and then add funds to it using your debit card or your credit card you can also use PayPal or any of the listed payment methods here and note that you will need to add a minimum of dollar three into captcha before you can use it once you've added money your balance will be updated and then you will need to copy your api key and store it in a secure place now we come to the fun part we'll solve the recapture on this website using to captcha at a higher level we'll take the following steps We'll install the dependency data required by our project. Then we'll find the site key of our recapture challenge on a target website. Then we'll solve the recapture using to capture API. And then we'll submit the solve capture. First of all, let's install the required dependency. It basically needs three dependency for this project. The first dependency is the to capture Python, which is the SDK for easy integration of to capture in Python. And we also need Selenium, which is a popular browser automation library. We will also use WebDriver Manager. WebDriver Manager basically helps us in downloading and using Chrome drivers in Selenium. So we don't have to manually enter paths. So go ahead and run the following command, which is given in the article. The article link is in the description. Next, we need to create a main.py where we'll write a capture solving code. Now what we really need to do is find the site key. The site key is the unique identifier which is given by Google to all capture forms, which uniquely identifies that capture. To solve the capture, we need to get the site key. Finding the site key is very simple. We go to a target website. We open our dev tools by pressing Control Shift I Command Shift I and search for data dash site key. And then we need to copy this site key. So it in a secure place. Next, we need to solve the capture. I'll be using the following code. So you see, what we are really doing here is we're instantiating the driver and we're loading our target page in Selenium. And then what we're doing is we're solving the capture by first instantiating a to capture object passing in the api key and then we're calling the recapture method on our to capture solver object passing in the site key and the url of the current page which is this and then we'll get back a dictionary which contains the solution to the capture in the code variable and then we're logging it out the console next what we really need to do is we need to submit the solve capture I will copy this code and paste it here. So what we're really doing is we're setting the solve capture code on an element with g dash capture response ID by running the following script. We're also pausing the execution of Selenium so that we can see the success screen after submission and the driver doesn't automatically get closed by running the following code. To summarize everything, what we're really doing is we're instantiating the web driver and then we're loading a target page and then we're solving the capture using to capture. 
we are setting the salt capture on g dash capture dash response element and then we're submitting the forum we are also pausing the submission so that we can see the success screen now let's substitute the api keys and run this code so we enter the two capture api key here and then we enter the site key here now we run the code running python main dot pan the chrome browser has been launched and as you can see the capture is getting solved So as you can see that the salt capture code has been printed to the console. We also see the success message on the screen. So that is how we solve the capture in Selenium. General steps for solving capture in Selenium are as follows. We create an account onto capture and add funds to it and get the API key. Then we find the site key of a target website. Next we submit the site key and the page URL to, to capture, which then returns the salt capture code. And we set the salt capture code on the appropriate element and submit the form. It's worth noting that uh, the process of solving other types of capture, such as fun capture by Arco's lab, is also very similar. You can visit this URL to see how it's done. Now, let's see some of the frequently asked questions. So, where is the final code? The final code is here, which you can find in the article linked in the description of this video. And next is what is the cost of solving capture? So you see there are different types of capture available such as fun capture, recapture and edge capture. The cost of solving capture differs based on the type of capture being solved. So for example, if you're solving the Google recapture, then the cost is around dollar one to dollar three per thousand capture. And you can always visit the two capture pricing page to see the cost of solving various capture. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. Wish you all the best. Happy potting.